Hey everyone, so I figured I would do a tap and I'll show you the tap once some once uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think once I can disconnect this cable I can set this mirror down. <laughs> I was trying to pull off this plastic shroud based on another video and uh, I'm thinking I had a different one but as you can see the whole heavy mirror came off so I really really hope I can get this back on. It looks like it just sits on that screw, so um, I'll keep you updated. The other plastic part, this plastic part right here, this one, was really easy. You just took one of those pry, pry bar tools and you uh, and you put it in there and twist and it popped off and actually popped off full side. So that was cool. I probably could have done this maybe without even trying to get the rest off. But I mean, the other one video is so easy to come off. So I think these are the clips here. Oops, sorry. I think this is the clip and that's the clip. So that's where you need to go. But I was just doing what the video said, which is the pull. Uh, looking at it from the side, it may be better to stick something in there and then try and pry it. Because um, it has it on both sides, unlike the other one. But now that we're here, I'm going to leave it off and I'm going to try and do the tap and then hopefully put it back on so it works. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so update number two, there you go. <laughs> I, uh, I took the shroud off, as you can see right here. I, it was so easy once the mirror was off, all I did was stick one of the pry bars just into this right one right there and then boom, slid right off. So that's what it looks like, um, lots of space in there. Uh, this is the this is the power thing. It's important to not just pull on it because so I pried that off as well because the one on the mirror here focus yeah that's kind of loose so we don't want to pull that out so make sure you're not just yanking on it because I don't this was moving this was moving more than that was than that was so I pried that off and that's actually whoops that's actually where the adapter which you can see right here, is gonna go. So this part here will go into the mirror, and then the black and white one right there goes into this, and there's my USB port for the dash cam um, tap, or you know, radar detector if that's what you're using it for, but I don't do that. Um, I hope these match, that's all I can say. It looks like they are. This was out of stock, I'll post the link of where I got it, but it was out of stock for a couple of uh, for, for about, I guess about a month. So, um, as soon as they, as soon as they, uh, posted it, I, um, I jumped on it and you could do a wire tap. That's probably fine too. This one came with a USB with these two capacitors. So I'm hoping it's going to be a little safer than just a straight wire tap. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much because, um, well, I like this whole thing because it was out of stock. I went and I ran the cable anyway, so it's there. You can't really tell it's up here, and then it went up underneath the um, underneath the glove box. But the reason that I'm still motivated to do it is because of this stupid thing. So that's very annoying for a passenger. So this will hopefully get rid of it. Um, I'll uh, I'll I'll show you what we do now. So it's gonna be like this, I believe. Yeah, simple, simple as that. And the mirror is going to go here. Then they gave me a super tiny uh, USB cable. Actually, they gave me two, a mini and a micro. I'm going to maybe try this. I also bought one before I realized that they gave me one. So I bought a foot long one. This one seems like it's six inches. Sorry, hang on a second. So this is the one that they gave me. It's very short. That's eh, probably more than six inches, probably eight inches. But that might be perfect. Um, I'm not really sure. So we're going to try this, though. We might as well. Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, and then once I get it in, I'm going to put the mirror up and then, uh, and then the shroud. And then uh, try and route the cable. I'm not sure where. I think I'm going to put it through up here because it looked like there was a little bit of space. So I'm going to try and have it lay like this and then just go to the dash camera right like that. The dash camera I have is, is, I should probably get a better one. Um, it's a very basic one. I've had it for a couple years, but it is a capacitor one. I don't really, honestly, I don't really care. It's just to prove fault if somebody, say, backs into me. So, um, there you can see it like that. So if I can get this to just sit up there, 
that'll be perfect. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, and this shouldn't be, uh, this should not be an always on one, which I don't want, um, cause I don't wanna drain the battery. I don't drive my car very much. I mean, honestly, this is, this has been, uh, I'm actually not even at my house anymore right now, but um, what the heck? Okay, so like this. But this has been sitting for four days, I think. So I did drive it all the way up to North Carolina from Florida. So I did got some use on it. Awful ride, by the way. These are not these are not um, the best cars for shitty roads. I'm confused. What's going on here? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I think I have to mess with this because it should be going in just not but I'll uh I'll be back okay so I got everything connected um if I turn if I turn it on will it can I test it without it without the car being on let me see oh I don't have my keys so no I can't but whatever <laughs> um I'll probably test it before putting the shroud back on but so let me see what I can do here so I see I'm just gonna try and line this up and get it on and push, I guess. It was just like a big clip, so. So that's where my goal is gonna be. Hopefully everything is not screwed up. Uh, hopefully I don't regret this, but okay. Okay guys, so it seems, this is an interesting thing. Really hope I don't break the windshield, but it feels like it's gonna go, and I'm actually shocked that I was able to get this off. But uh, when I found another video, it says you put it like this, 45 degree angle, and then you twist, and then it should, it should clip itself back on, so. Well, let me try it with uh, with my right hand and or with no fucking camera, but I just try and force it on and there's just no way. Uh, I, again, I should probably... I, so if, if I applied that uh, pressure on and was able to get it off, there we go. So that's on. That's crazy. That's how you do it. So, wow. Uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I pulled it off, but that's definitely not the way you're supposed to do it. But so it's on right now. Uh, I did disconnect everything because I was like, well, I'm pulling on this. So, but uh, that's it. Now I'm very happy because I was like, oh crap, I hope I didn't fuck this up. Uh, obviously, they, you know, this is not something that's unusual because they, um, windshield replacement guys have to do this all the time. So, um, yeah, but anyways, that looks pretty cool to me. Like, we got this uh, good, and I was thinking, you know, the way that the cable goes, I might use my, my foot-long one because I can just route it probably all the way up here and then up into this headliner right here. So see this little cable here? I might as well just go all the way up with that and then down, and then rather than have it next to the windshield. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but either way, yours back on. It's solid, so that's <laughs> that's the definite the, uh, thumbs up how we how we get that back on thankfully but so i want to show you that um and again thanks to another youtube video and i'll link to that one just because it was a lifesaver again so um i'm actually gonna link to the two that that i used when i was uh, trying to get this thing off and then i'll link to the products and all that stuff um but yeah so i'll show you as it's connected <laughs> Okay, locked in. So we're good again. We were good before. Uh, now we got that, that freestanding USB in there. I should probably check this before I take everything together just to make sure that it works. But you can see it's all up in there. Just connect that again, get the shroud up. Which I hope is easy, but you know, knowing everything else, I'm sure there'll be a, a part where I'm going, oh, I'm going to break it and not do it again. But it has a pretty big... Um, yeah, this is the this is the piece that goes up like this. So, anyways, okay. So check it out. And I'm gonna close the door so you don't have the beeping. So dash cam is powered, mirror is powered. So now we're ready to close it up. I'm gonna try the long cable because, as you can see, that's about as much leeway as I have. And I do like my idea of having it go all the way up and then all the way down. It might be a dumb idea, but that's what I think is the way to do it. Um, if we go with this one right here, 
I don't, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if I like it. How does this thing get on? I mean, I might as well just go with the, uh, go with the longer one because if I, if I need it extra, if I decide to go the other way, I can like, just, um, you know, push it back. But, so let me see how this one's gonna work out. But good news is power there, power there, limb ignition. So it's pretty sweet. Good, good mod so far. Okay, so I got this back on. Uh, it's a very weird, <laughs> the easiest, stuff once you get it off that first time including the mirror like they must make this easy because they know how many windshields get chipped i think i have 2,000 miles on this i think mine's already chipped so but like literally just pop it in a little bit boom it's connected um and the cable naturally went up there like that so you can see i'll just leave it like that i don't care um as long as this little little one right here is also there now that one was a little tougher to get in because we have to get this around but once you get it around the mirror and into place it's actually not that hard to get it in the right position but i'm not sure i don't remember how i got this out before i'm guessing like this maybe yeah that's right that's how you do it so just like that and then we just snap that in Two little clips. Oh, there's actually a clip down low, so I actually gotta get that into it like that. Make sure it's in on both sides. And not pop out the other one. Uh, are we in? I I mean it looks like we're in. It's it's not like it looks like we're in. Right? Everything good? This is my old cable, so that's just got to go away. I mean, I think we're, I think we're golden. I think this just was the easiest, uh, somewhat, uh, you know, difficult mod that I've ever done. But very cool. I, I guess that's it. I mean, if it rattles, who cares? It's, you know, every a lot of other things rattle already because it's, you know, I'm not gonna say it, but you know, good, still good car. I love it, but. But anyways, um, so that was easy install. Like I said, the links are going to be in the description for the piece that I got, the connector. Honestly, you can get a tap system for pretty cheap anyway, so you might as well just, uh, if you can't get, if these ones aren't in stock, I mean, I paid about $25 for that with the USB and the capacitors and the, and the plugs. More than happy to do it. I mean, it made it super easy. But once you get that stuff off, once you get the shrouds off, it's you have pretty good access to everything so i mean you could easily get those wire taps that you just slide in but anyways um that's it guys i mean very cool let's see if uh, everything turns on boom dash cam on boom sos on awesome <laughs> i couldn't be happier uh that's very cool that's very cool